Libra, this is a mental health snapshot for you. <clears throat> Let's see what you got. First up, you drew the Page of Pentacles. God sung above all. Loyalty and allegiance. Friendship and reconciliation. Okay, so you might be you know, reconciling with someone from the past. Some past communication energy coming in with this Mercury retrograde. A lot of planets in retrograde. Tying up a lot of cycles from the past. So we can move forward. Loyalty and allegiance. Page. The page is young energy. It's holder of the suit. So we're talking about pentacles. Pentacles could refer to a year in time or something physical concrete. Finances, health, twists of fate and luck, actually. Um... Not for nothing, this is an angel I say low. Um, yeah, pages, you know, see, so you could be getting like a, a young, hopeful offer in some regard, in some department. Libra, wow, you got the Nine of Pentacles. So I kind of take that back because it's actually going to be someone adding more in addition to the value that you do have. Some, someone or something is adding additional value. And to me, I could easily read the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles is the Ten of Pentacles, which is like stability, tradition, inheritance, 401k, retirement money, you know, all that good stuff. Like you're taking care of like fiscally, financially, your legacy, your tradition. So that little page of pentacle could be, it could even be a significant other, a spouse. Someone's like, you know, will you take my 10th and final pentacle? You got the eight of cups in reverse, so there could be some reticence or hes hesitance in moving on to find your cups, your, your emotional happiness. You got your physical foundational happiness with these pentacles you're all set but now you're trying to get your mind right emotionally and relationship wise with your eight of cups in reverse you could be in disarray with a lot of options um but when you do move on emotionally then you're able to find your nine and ten cups So and, and uh, undoubtedly, you know, we, we need both factors in our life, our cups and our pentacles filled. You got the eight of swords again. This is two eight energy in the in the reverse, not willing to move on, not willing to accept or recognize or capitalize off of new beginnings. Um, eight of swords is stuck in your head energy, stuck in your mentality, your mind. This is Gemini energy. We're in Gemini season. But again, <clears throat> I think this is good because you could be coming out of this energy as well. When this is in the reverse. And likewise, you could be coming out of the Eight of Cups for that matter. To move towards your Nine and Ten. The only thing I would say is that like, you got like this regression energy. It could be like this Mercury retrograde stuff. Excuse me. You know, going into Gemini season, Mercury being the planet of Gemini. I say regression in, in these numbers aspects that are popping out because you got the one, you know, um, in the Page of Pentacles, but then you add it to the nine. That's ten. So you got a ten, then you go back to the nine, and then you go back to the eight. So it's kind of like some sort of countdown. Um, Got the page of swords in reverse. So it could be coming out of gossip, you know, hearsay, he said, she said energy. Some reconnaissance, some spying. Either of you or someone else. It is air sign energy. So it could be you, Libra. Um, that's how the page of swords in reverse looks.
But yeah, I just see a lot of like emerging energy for you, Libra. If that makes any sense. Yeah, you got the King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords in reverse is about, you know, having the answers within you. Like, there's not any information that you need outside of yourself, really. And this is in regards to logic and reason and strategy and things like that. So, especially in regards to if you have an incoming offer with the Page of Pentacles to, to have anything to do with your financial stability. Um, I see you as like being self-aware and intelligent emotionally and um, you know communication wise and intellectually I see you coming out of any petty energy and sense of feeling stuck to that energy and almost knowing what you have to do with anything that's incoming with the Page of Pentacles. So, but yeah, your finance, your stability financially, your financial independence looks good with those Nine of Pentacles. So, I wouldn't necessarily trip about any of that. Alright, um, that's as best as I got for you right now, Libra. Some interesting energy, some emerging energy. <clears throat> Pentacles look good. Communication. You want to make sure to communicate um, with this sword energy. Take note. Write things down. Keep a spreadsheet. Keep track of your emails. Swords is about communication, logic, and reason. So you just want to make sure that you're on par with that. Especially as a cardinal air sign. Um, and you can even try to leverage this energy to kind of... Define for yourself this Eight of Cups if you aren't able to accept moving on to find your cup fulfillment, your happiness with this Eight of Cup energy. Use your analytics to write a list of pros and cons and what you can do for yourself. Because that's where you're going to get like sparks of insight and genius and applied ingenuity. Okay, Libra, that's what I got. If you want a more direct one-on-one -on -one thorough reading, please feel free to reach out. All my links and infos below. Cop some of that new Summerline Drip Tarot merch. Link below. Holler at your boy. Love you lots. Peace and mental happiness.